Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've got accessory review. Now this is what could be the best GoPro accessory deal on the freaking planet. It has a ridiculously low price of $12 on Amazon and Slick Deals has been running coupon codes for it. I got it for six bucks. I saw it back up for nine bucks yesterday. So check Slick Deals for a coupon code for it and maybe even save some more. And if you have Prime like me, that's shipped. So let's take a look. Now I say could be because it depends on the quality and how it works with a real GoPro case, but we'll take a look and see what's inside. So it comes in this big plastic bag, no branding, just this in a clean box. We've got a whole bunch of mounts and spare adhesive pads. We have a floaty. We have a suction cup and an extension arm. It looks like a couple joints on it. We have a monopod. I've paid more than this probably 10 times for all this different stuff in the past. We have a wrist mount. We have what looks like a chest mount, maybe a head. We'll see when we take it out of the package. Ah, this looks like the chest mount. It looks even bigger. Oh, sweet. This is actually what I'm filming on right now. This is for a cell phone. This goes on a tripod, and this is on a spring. And you, it holds your phone, so you can do videos. I had no idea this was in here, and I have no idea why it's included with a GoPro pack, but hey, I'll take a spare, because this one pretty much sits outside all the time, and it's getting a little rusty. It's been out here for years. Sweet. Extra one of those is good. And we have, what is this? Oh, it's a big allig alligator clip. Good for a hat or any kind of flat surface you want to clamp to temporarily. And that's it for the bag. And then in here, I imagine this is going to be lots of different arms. Hopefully. Lots of different connection pins. We have a tripod adapter. I paid 20 bucks for this alone. No joke, when I first set up my stuff. This looks like a little, it's got some pads and a tie string. Not really sure what that's for. We have an anti-vibration, I guess you call it a bracket, uh, thingamabob. A lot of people don't know what this is for. When you put the foot into the mount, you slide this in to fill up the gap and it stops that weird plastic sound as the camera moves around. It's not needed unless you're using the internal mic on the GoPro and you're doing motion. Lots and lots of tightening adapters. We have a lens cleaning microfiber cloth. My wife will like that. She uses that for cell phones. We have a J-hook. This is great for helmet mounts. It's low profile, but it gives you a little bit of kick so you can mount something and pivot. We have a regular mount, another regular mount, another regular mount. So obviously this is really cool if you want to set up multiple camera points on your bike. Bam! I mean you've got everything all in one. We've got a mounting strap. This is for use with the chest or the wrist mount or another couple generic ones. These shorter connection points here are for the joints themselves. The longer ones are for the actual camera mount to an arm or mount. Another J-hook. Still going. Lots of stuff in this bag. Oh, cool. So now we have a bar mount and it's a good quality one too. I've seen different versions of this. This is just like the GoPro. We have a 90 degree flip adapter. We have a short 90 degree flip adapter another short 90 degree flip adapter another anti-vibration mount holy moly it's still going we have another regular foot another short 90 and another long 90 you can pretty much create anything you need to with this kit another wrist mount this would also be good for any really thick post or anything you want to strap around temporarily that you don't want to stick them out to. 
And is that it? One more? Two more? Two more things. We have some... What are these? I'll have to open that up. It's airtight. It looks like maybe foam or felt. Can't tell yet. And then another long 90 degree mount. Holy mackerel. Tons and tons of stuff in this kit. No joke. This is the ultimate starter kit for sure. Okay, well, let's take a look at this stuff real quick. Floaty, start with this one. I have really no use for this. I don't use my cameras in the ocean here, but you got a nice, nice comfortable list lanyard. Did I say list lanyard? <laughs> Wrist lanyard. Let's see how it fits, first of all. I'm gonna just quickly fit everything because I've had some third party stuff that fit like crap. This fits exactly like GoPro. Very smooth thread action. Does it tighten down? Yep. All right. That is very comfortable and feels exactly like the real one. Now I have official GoPro versions of pretty much everything here. I'll tell you, fit and finish, the feel of it, the look of the plastic, Everything looks absolutely authentic. This I know is great, used that in the past. I wanna take a look at the adhesive here to see if it's, doesn't say 3M, so I don't think it is 3M, but it has the same density. Sometimes these are really squishy, cheap foam, and they don't stick very well. I'm gonna feel the tackiness here. That feels up to par with real GoPro 3M red tape mounts. That is good. Sometimes you have to replace it. They give you a ton of them here. I mean, just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spare adhesive mounts plus, or pads, plus all the actual mounts. We've got two flat ones and two curved ones. Plus all the other ones that were in the separate bags. So that's very cool. Let's take a look at this clamp real quick. I'm interested in how the tension is on it. Sometimes they're pretty weak. Oh, that is not weak. That is very strong. Ooh, and it's got quite sharp teeth. That will grip on pretty much whatever you want. Look, I'm tenderizing my finger. <laughs> yeah, that's got a good grip strength. The fit, perfect fit. Impressive. All right, well, I think that answers the question. Let's go ahead and just unbag everything real quick. Let's look at the suction mount. Now, GoPro's got a couple different versions of it. Truthfully, I'm not that impressed with any of these single ones. There's a couple aftermarket ones with three suction pads that are very, very stable. And a lot of professionals use those, say, on the side of cars. I would not trust a single no matter what the brand is so you just push the lever down here but i have to say that is rock solid and it's shaking the table that's not going anywhere that feels actually more solid than the real gopro one that is nice and it's smaller too very cool it's got one actuating arm here and another that pivots at a 90 degree. And the mount is a standard connection here, so you can put whatever you want extending from this arm here. Very cool, all right. Take a look at this strap real quick. And this is a head strap. So it goes over your noggin like that. It gives you a standard little mini J hook there at the top. And it feels just like the regular GoPro. It's got elastic, it's got a slight rubber coating. Very high quality fabric, feels very nice. I cannot believe the price on this, it's just ridiculous. Now you can tell, the only reason you can tell it's from China is this plastic cellophane material. It's got that weird Chinese feel to it. I don't know what's different, but it's, it's got kind of crinkly. I actually have another one of these that I bought separately. Monopod made in China, yeah, this is exactly the one I have, and it works great. It is super long. It's about five feet long, extended. 
Very cool. And a standard tripod screw on the end. So you can use the tripod adapter and uh, put the GoPro on that. Or if you want it for your phone, you just use this. Now, there are better ones out there now these days with the Bluetooth connection. Uh, that screws in there. But this will give you... Yep, wrong size. Well, that's odd. Am I just not screwing it enough? I'm not screwing it enough. There you go. So now you got a selfie stick for your phone or your GoPro. Very cool. And a wrist mount again, and that is the chest mount. Again, these are exactly like the GoPro. And looking at this, I knew it was a direct copy and not like the typical Chinese crap because they always screw up these bar mounts. But this is correct. You have the slots, you've got the screws that are nice and long, and these thread all the way down the end of the screw, allowing you to use this on any size handlebar or luggage mount rack or anything you want. And it just keeps going, 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 going. You've got the rubber protection here built into the mount. It's not a separate piece, it's not gonna fall out. This is exactly like the GoPro. Absolutely love it. So there you go. Deal of the century, man. If you need your GoPro accessories, if you're just starting out, if you want to equip multiple bikes or you want multiple points on your bike, here you go. Link in the description. Enjoy it, guys. See you next time.